with a five on three advantage once again. That's how they got their first goal. Well, they have enough time to pull one on the, uh, put one on the clock here or on the goal. Kentucky will just clear it out. And Dodson not able to hold on to it. He'll go back and retrieve, though. Dodson leaves that for McNutt. Hucks him up. We do have a minute five remaining in the game clock. And Kentucky back to four on five. But Kentucky cleared one part of this penalty. Rohar out to replace Hubbard. As Hubbard once again is in the box now, serving the remainder of his 10 minute misconduct. One, one minute remaining. That was the uh, Whitman penalty, actually. Rips a shot. Nice save there. Nice job blocking that puck down by the EKU player there. Kentucky Whipped up able and out to clear uh, once again. Rohar might have been cheating ahead a little bit, looking for a breakaway chance. Kentucky, <laughs> Rohar almost able to steal the puck away from Rohar, he's, he's skating like he wants another goal. 15 seconds. He wants a huge ass hat trick. Nah, he's not going to get it though. 10 seconds left. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it. And Kentucky wins 14 to 1 over Eastern Kentucky. What a finish to a game that, well, got pretty aggressive there at the end. A game that was, you could see from the drop of the opening puck, Kentucky, too fast, too physical, just too much talent for Eastern Kentucky. They give Eastern credit. They, they battled the entire way. The peak perhaps sets in a little bit as you get into the third period. Oh, yeah. But uh, this was impressive to say the least. <laughs> Jim Hinckley letting the fans know they will not be in the uh, in the booth tomorrow night. Perhaps, like we mentioned earlier, we'll get the Hinckleys up here to talk to, talk to us. I, I say we get Jim on as the third mic tomorrow night. I can go with that. I'm sure he'd love to do it. The uh, third mic will be the Hinckley mic. Yes. So your final score tonight, Kentucky wins 14 to one. And is it time for the three huge ass stars of the game? Ah, uh, let's let things calm down for a second. <laughs> Kentucky, of course, wins 14 to one. I can't say it enough. Goals, goals, and more goals. I mean, that's all you can say. Kentucky I mean, just. You're right. The thing is, Kentucky scores 14 goals. Nobody, nobody, get, nobody has a hat trick. But, and, and that's a good sign. You know, that is. That is a really good sign considering Kentucky can spread the scoring out. Uh, scoreboard has officially gone off. Things are starting to calm down. Drum roll, please. We need the three oh boy. huge ass stars of the game. <laughs> I'm going to give the third star to Sean McLaughlin. You know, first game is a Wildcat. Even though, he's, even though he's a junior, first game on the team, scores two goals, one in the first, one in the second. Both of those from Drew Phillips. Second star. Oh man, this is tough. This is this is one of those. It's a good problem to have. Um, wow, I mean, you, you could go anywhere. I mean, I guess at this point, I could, I'm going to go ahead and give it to Dylan Rohar. Okay. Uh, had the second goal of the game from Vit and Beardsley in the first period, a power play goal, the one from almost the impossible angle, and then scored the first goal of the second period from the assist from Schmidt. And for me, the first star of the game, it took him a little while to get going uh, scoring-wise. That's Taylor Vitt for me. Uh, first star of the game, let's see, he had, by our count, two goals and uh, oh, just a ho-hum night for Taylor Vitt. Ho-hum night for Taylor Vitt, uh, two goals and four assists. So if that goes in official in the stat book, a six-point night on opening night for uh, Taylor Vitt. So, Third star for me is Sean McLaughlin. Second star, goodness, Dylan Rohar. I mean, it's just unbelievable the, the list you could pick from. And then first star, Taylor Vitt. So third star, it's a McLaughlin. Uh, second star, Rohar. First star, Vitt. Okay, so you gave me room to argue. 
This is awesome. Th this, is, this is not a bad problem to have. Yeah, if we're no. arguing three stars of the game for a 14 to one game. Um, okay, I'm gonna go my three stars. Um, I'm actually gonna go with my third star as Drew Phillips. Drew Phillips set up McLaughlin. Uh, definitely can make some moves. Yes, he you can. Know, he can make some moves. He has some nasty deeks. So McLaughlin going to be my, or sorry, my Phillips going to be my third star of the game. My second star of the game going to be Taylor Vitt, I do believe. Uh, wow, second star with I, two goals and four assists. Two goals, four assists. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I, I'm starting to regret that one now. No. No, let's do this. Change it. Change it. My <laughs> second star will be Billy Glass. It's going to be Glass. Okay. Because you're looking at one, two, three, four. He was on four plays there where he a scored goal. one, had three assists. Oh, what is it? Picking up, it's a pick picking up, up right where, where he left off. Exactly. Yeah, right where he left off. Exactly. One goal and three assists. That's about his ratio. And he, <laughs> that's not a bad ratio to have. No. Um, and then let's see here. And of first course, star. it's going to be Vit. So Taylor Vit will be our first star of the game. I mean, so to me, Taylor Vit looked like one of those guys. It's tonight that's sh trying to show the team that you know this is what a leader does. Yo, he looked completely in control of things on both sides of the ice, both offense and defense. While he was out there, just looked calm, looked poised, and that's where something that's something younger guys can feed he, off. He of. has earned the A. Yeah, he, he really has. has. He has earned the A. And you know, the thing about it was last year with their little turmoil happen. Mm -hmm. He comes in and he says, we can either we can either sit and wallow in, in what happened we or either. we can turn it right. up and keep going. And sure enough, that's what he did. Yep. So there you have it. That's going to be our three stars. Three huge ass huge stars, stars, of, the stars of the game. Uh, we're going to try to be out at Huge Ass Burgers tomorrow night for the University of Kentucky. For those of you still with us, you want to let us know your three huge ass stars of the game. Drop us a line on the uh, on the message board on, cool, on CoolCatsHockey.com homepage. Hope you guys enjoyed the game tonight. Kentucky absolutely dominating, dominating Eastern Kentucky. And we'll see if they can continue that tomorrow night as I do believe Jim Borgard will be getting the start in net. Yes, he will. So, Kentucky fans, thank you for tuning in to tonight's game. Tell your friends about us. We'll be on tomorrow night beginning at 1140 once again. We'll be recapping tonight's game, and we'll be getting you set for tonight's tomorrow night's action. Fans, thank you for tuning in. Tonight's game has been brought to you by Hugh Jass Burgers. Make sure you go give him a visit. Join, us, on. join us tomorrow night there at Hugh Jass Burgers. Watch some football, talk some hockey. Definitely. Sounds like a plan. And then follow us to the Ice Center. Yep, bell, uh, bell time. Wow, I'm mixing if you get up here as early as If you get here as early as we do, you might get a seat. <laughs> and exactly. 150 people were turned, uh, away. Away, turned away tonight. Not allowed so in. They were cheering from the outside. Yes. So make sure that you do join us. Get here early. The line will be long. Yes. We will see you tomorrow night for our videographer, Lynn Keeland and Scott Keeland. I'm Aaron Rose alongside Jason Griefer. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time right here at the Lexington Ice Center. Join us 11.